Hello guys and welcome to the Wings Mobile Detailing Podcast. Today I'm talking about the topic of detailing. As you guys know, we do be between business and detailing, but this is a very important if you're a detailer and you want to hear some tips, tips, tricks, whatever you want to call it, of to better yourself, become more efficient when doing uh, the detail service. What steps to take and why to follow this step. You know, some people prefer to detail the car on the outside before uh, before the interior. Some people like to, heck, clean the windows first while they are doing the interior. And I'm, and I'm going to tell you why it's best to clean windows last. Uh, why I find it better to clean the windows last. And you guys can take these tips or you guys cannot take these tips. We stay with the intro and I'm sure this is going to be very, very helpful. Very simple. But that's what we like. Simplicity become efficient consequently we make more money welcome to the wings mobile detailing business and automotive podcast the only podcast that will guide you on how to start and grow six-figure companies as our team expand from one business location to worldwide domination you will get step-by-step insights from a millennial franchiser and franchise owner with your host andre mezzalira all right guys so i'm gonna go um in order the way i actually like to detail cars and the reason i like to follow certain steps when detailing so when we first get there at your customer's house and we're mobile or maybe not and we first like to open all the doors and they'll talk to the client connect the power plug and make sure everything's installed and everything now when detailing itself, I'm going to go over some simple stuff and some more that may sound like common sense to you guys, or may not. It may not be, you know, to some of you may think, oh, why didn't I think about it? You know, that's going to help my detail, and I should have known. Uh, guys, mind you that there is a new academy if you're an uh, existing detailer, business owner, and you want to grow your business, expand, and know all about uh, different ways to grow your business video on demand video guys of how to grow your business I made it now available this used to be only available to our franchisees but now it is available for sale all of our training courses it is available for purchase under the name Mezalira Academy now if you guys want to have us take care of everything for you and you just focus on growing your team and hiring people you can franchise with us Uh, let's get to the point guys because i like to not market a lot not talk too much about it uh when i first like to get at the client's car you know i like to start with vacuuming and i'm gonna tell you why i like to start with vacuuming and why i like to start with interior first but when i start with interior first i remove the rubber floor mats off the car not the cloth mats the rubber floor mats because I'm gonna wash them later so just remove and put them on wherever you want to put them you know uh, but, but please don't put them on the hood of any car don't put it on the hood <laughs> just put it outside you remove the f- rubber floor mats and you start vacuuming and I like to start with the interior first guys for the reason that one you can have a service that is an active odor or no zone machine that you have to use inside the car or simply an active odor eliminator those spray bombs depending what you use and guys you while you're using that you don't want to be just sitting and staying waiting waiting those 5 10 15 minutes that it takes for that old zone machine to work inside the car you know if you have services like that so you can do it while you're washing the outside of the car leave it inside leave it running inside so you're doing something because if you were to start on the exterior first and then you do the interior and then you decide to do the ozone machine or the odor bomb you have to close all the all the doors and not be doing anything because the outside is already finished and you can't be, you cannot be inside so that's one of the reasons and the second reason that i can think of is in the winter Guys, uh, when you're in the winter and you're doing it, it's very cold outside and you want to have your water warm. And a lot of people warm their water bucket that you use with a water bucket heater that you put inside. And so if you were to start to do the outside, it takes a while for the 
bucket water heater to heat the water. So while we're doing the interior that you started first, bam, you can leave the water bucket heater. Guys, this is something that I just thought about it while I was recording this podcast, this other reason that I had. So I thought about it and it, it might not, it might want to switch back around, but I have my reasons to why I like to do that. And it's, this is very simple though. You, you can start on the exterior now. Uh, when I'm vacuuming the car, n- number three now, tip number three, when I'm vacuuming the car and you, you, you open all the doors, you can collect all the trash. So this is what you can do. You can take, get a trash bag and start collecting all the trash from, from, from the inside of the car, from all the, the beds. Now, if you do that before you vacuum, mind you that you're going to have two steps. Step one. And this is time, time wasted. Step one, open all the doors, get all the trash out. And you're still going to leave some trash in underneath the seat. At Men, at the end of the day, if you're collecting all the trash before and you start vacuuming, you're going to start seeing more trash that you didn't pick up. That, that just happens. I don't know. They just pop up. But okay, you're going to have two steps. You're going to, you, if you were to do it this way of collecting all the trash is what I do not recommend. But if you were to do it, you have two steps collect all the trash and then you know vacuum so that's an extra step what i like to do is to be separating the trash while i'm vacuuming two ways i start vacuuming the the car and there's trash there there's a gum candy uh paper wrap and whatever and i like to keep a small trash bucket near me by my side while i'm kneeing down vacuuming the car and by my side so if i get any trash i can have that bucket near me but wherever sometimes wherever i move guys and i'm inside the motion of me when i'm like leaning against the seat and trying to you know vacuum underneath the seat or in a van on the third row i'm not gonna get that trash that i saw and you know throw it outside i know this take maybe two seconds okay but this is time i'm not gonna the problem with this is that then I pick up the trash and I have to go out and just throw in the, my trash bucket. So the best way I like to do it, guys, is while I'm vacuuming. Let's say I'm, I'm in the back seat of the car and I find a trash while I'm vacuuming. I just get it and throw everything in the front, uh, on, on the pa- on the passenger passenger floor. I, so I started on the driver's side. And I, I'm going around. I'm starting the driver's side. If I get any trash on the driver's side, I throw all in the passenger floor. I just throw it super quick. And, you know, I'm vacuuming underneath the back seat. I just throw it in the passenger passenger floor. Because I'm going to go around. That's going to be the last thing I'm going to touch. Because I'm going to go in the back side. And then I'm going to go to the trunk. And I like to go in the trunk. And then go to the other side. Because I'm already there. You know, I'm not going to go back in the trunk. And also you can need to lead the seat downs if it's a third row and all. And then when I get to the passenger side, I make sure I have my trash bucket with me. And then I throw everything in the trash bucket. Um, and hey guys, if you get used to it, it's going to save you a little bit of time. Time is money here, especially in detailing. So that's definitely how I like to throw. Just while you're vacuuming, think about it. I'm going to throw everything in the passenger side, all the trash. And the reason also, guys, I like to start doing the vacuum cleaning before the hard surfaces. Why I like to vacuum before I do the hard surfaces, that's that's because while I'm vacuuming, I am not only you know, throwing all the trash away on the passenger side, including the trash that is in the cup holders, all the hard surfaces, because I'm going to vacuum those cup holders from any dust or anything, right? So I am getting all the hard surfaces vacuum up remove any trash if there are coins i'm going to remove it and vacuum in between the door pockets even in between the steering wheel when you put the steering wheel down sometimes you're going to get that uh super dusting there so that's why i like to vacuum before so when i go do the hard surfaces if i were to get all the hard surfaces and i'm removing trash from the hard surfaces and throwing on the floor I'm going to vacuum it later, that's fine, but I don't like to clean the hard surfaces when there's a lot of dust in there, leaves, sometimes there are leaves on the door pockets, I want to get it out, like candy stuff, and so I like to get all of that out with the vacuum cleaner already, 
you know sometimes there's a lot of dust uh, cigarettes stuff there uh, that's why I like to vacuum before because I don't want to touch with my detailing cleaning brush on all that stuff that the vacuum could have picked up and so when I'm cleaning it I'm actually cleaning only the dry stuff that won't fall on the floor and I won't have to make me vacuum again that's why I would rather uh, do that now the reason I like to when I go to do the hard surfaces I like and that's I think we're number four or five when I do the num the hard surfaces I like to start on the passenger seat first the passenger side the front passenger uh, because I like to do the middle console first I like to get the cup holders out of the way all that screen for some reason I prefer to do all that screen the middle console first and you know best way to do it is from the passenger side seat so I clean up all the hardest part out and everything and that's why when I vacuum I like to start vacuuming from the driver's side why because if I'm in two people now that if you're working in two and you have let's say you have an employee and you're uh, you're working uh, he's gonna want to, you know, you're gonna want to follow the same steps. You know, this is I'm talking about here. You, you know, with intentions for you to grow, guys. This is what uh, all of my podcasts, all of my detailing tips, all of the services that I give advice on on how to build the detailing services, even on the Mazalira Academy. I talk in with intentions of you guys growing your business, passing it on to somebody. That's why I stay like to stay simple. I don't have hundreds of products, hundreds of different things hundreds of methods to do things you know i i don't have on one car i'm gonna start on the outside and then the other on the inside why not because if it was me by myself that's totally fine i know where everything is i know where it can start and it's up to me but if i'm training people if i'm passing it on if you're passing it on as a business owner to your employees in the future you want to have from ma- a uniformity you want things to be the same so everything that i do uh, even the detailing academy, uh, the the Mizzalira Academy for business and automotive detailing, business owners, it's all built around that, with intentions to business gr- growth, even software and all that. So, um, as I was saying, I like to start on the vacuuming on the on the driver side, because in the future I'm gonna think uh, this is very simple. You know, the guy who's gonna be working with me, then you you know with you guys is going to start doing the hard surfaces on the passenger side so you don't want to be on his way obviously and then by the time he's on the your side you're on his side it's because you're going to be one splitting side you know in two people are going to split one do vacuum and the other one do the hard surface and i'm going to explain also to you why you want to separate it that way and you definitely don't want you know one working on the outside and the other one on the inside I know a, a lot of times this can be very simple and obviously obvious it can sound like but for some people you know for beginning it may not be and even for you who's been in detailing for years uh, some tips as I'm saying here uh, may be helpful and I like to do interior windows last so let's say we're done vacuuming we don't do the hard surfaces and now low let's touch the inside of the windows why do I like to do the windows last because then I'm gonna do the outside. The outside is not finished yet, I started on the interior. And I like to do the windows last, because if I do the windows now that I'm on the interior before washing the outside, I'm gonna have an extra step to do. I may have to do the windows twice if I do it now, why? Because when, if I do the windows last, I'm gonna now wash the car on the outside, is what we recommend you know after the inside is done and you're gonna wash all the windows all the glass on the outside and the glass on the outside is gonna be super clean you're gonna wash it with water and soap there's no better way you know and dry it afterwards so the glass on the outside is gonna be clean uh, and now when you go do the interior now now after the outside is clean at last you know the interior is already done you go clean the interior windows the last because you only have to clean the inside of the windows and see if it's dirty or not if you were to have done the interior windows first before washing the outside 
then you wouldn't see what dirt is from the inside so you, then you wash the outside and then you go back and see more dirt on the interior windows and you're gonna have to do it again that will happen so that's why i like to do windows last uh while i'm washing the cars on the outside uh, this is this is another common sense uh, one is I like to wash the outside of the car always one half of it and then the other half this is obviously because the Sun if you're working in the summer uh, you want to rinse one half of the car including the front and the back and then you're gonna wash you starting to wash mitt the entire half uh, a lot of times you may you know do you may not be able to do the entire half if it's super super hot you might want to spray it down while there's soap in the car spray it down and continue washing the half of the car and then rinse it completely and then th why do i want to wash half of the car including the front and the back and then i move to the other back to the other side i'm sorry because when i'm washing the front and the back and then the side i'm gonna rinse the entire car off and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry it. I'm going to dry with the chamois. I like drying with the chamois. And why do I dry with the chamois now and don't just go and wash the other side? Because if I go wash the other side and when it's super hot outside, I'm going to have to keep coming on this side that I washed and spraying down with water. Every time, you know, every minute you're going to have to, while you're washing, you're going to have to spray down the other side. So I like to dry it first, wash, rinse, and dry the entire side that I washed first so that I don't have to do that when I'm washing the other side again, you know, um, and then and then drying. It's better to maybe have to dry the car to spill water than to have to keep going on that side and rinsing it and risking having water spots because once you get water spots there with soap, or just water in the summer it's tough it may be tough to get it out depending on the contamination of the water and the rims when i'm washing the rims also i do the same thing i like to spray product because this is the method i use to wash rims you guys may be doing it differently but i spray the rims with products uh the product first i like to let it sit for a while and then i rinse it down it's going to clean it super well uh, I like to let it sit for a while, but not for too long when it's summer, because then it, good luck if that, you know, wheel cleaner dries on the rim. So I spray one wheel completely with the product, and then I spray the other wheel. And then I go back and wash the wheel and rinse it down. And then I go to the second one, wash it and rinse it down. And then I go to the other side of the car and repeat the same step. Uh, what I'm not doing here guys, I'm not spraying products product on all four rims and then washing the first one, second one. By the time you go to the third rim with a product there, the product's already dried. And that you don't wanna you don't want that to happen at all. Uh, so guys, here are the small, you know, quick tips. Here are the quick tips that's I, I hope it's helpful. Uh, on throwing trash on the passenger side on why start on the passenger side uh, with the hard surfaces you know removing the rubber mats first um, and as far as the rubber mats goes when you're washing the outside then you can you know rinse wash pressure wash that rubber mats and why do i not remove guys this is another one that you guys may be doing i uh, just want to touch touch up on that why do I not remove the cloth mats off the car while I'm uh, vacuuming it? Uh, or, or when I started, why do I not? I, I don't remove the floor mats of the car at all. I don't. I actually shampoo it all from the inside. And, you know, this is very personal depending how you do it. A lot of people like to remove it. It's fine, you know, have a table outside. If you have a table outside, that's fine. Um, and wash the outside but when let's say you're vacuuming you don't even have to shampoo i like to vacuum first i like to first vacuum the floors and then the seats guys so when i'm starting vacuuming why do i like to vacuum the floors and then the seats because i do not remove 
the cloth floor mats that I just vacuum and put it outside of the car or on the ground outside or whatever or back in my van I'm not gonna walk all the way to my van I'm gonna vacuum everything right then and there and I'm done so I vacuum the floors first and leave the seats dirty because I'm gonna vacuum that floor mat and I'm gonna place it on the seats right there I'm still kneeling now I didn't walk away from the car and then I vacuum the actual floor the carpet uh, after I vacuum the carpet I put the clean rubber rubber uh, cloth mat back into it and then I vacuum the seat see I'm doing one step I am not getting the rubber I'm not getting the cloth mat all of the floor outside of the car that's another step guys that's another time and time is money and then vacuuming it and then going back and grabbing and bringing it all inside no I'm doing it right then and there vacuuming putting it right back if I am going to shampoo those floor mats, that's that's a bit different, you know, guys. I understand, you know, I might have to get it out, even to let it dry outside or something, depending how you shampoo it. Uh, so that's another tip, and uh, I explain why I like to start on the interior of the car, why I like to start before doing to vacuum before I do the hard surfaces, why I like to do the interior windows last. And why I like to wash the car half and half and same with the wheels. These are small tips. I hope these were helpful, guys. And I just wanted to get through. We're already 20 minutes in the podcast. If you guys like to get more through, uh, man, uh, everything, please, I you know urge you to check out. Uh, if you like to grow and expand your business with us. So pretty much you get appointments. If you're already a business owner and you want to just get appointments you know non-stop on your calendar in your area in your city uh we're available in most states still with franchise opportunity and it's very simple it's a very minor fee and to start a franchise usually it's much more expensive so check out franchise.wingsmobiledetailing.com and you can start your own business detailing business or grow your existing one by being licensed by us Again, it's franchise.wingsmobiledetailing.com. And thank you for listening. I hope these were helpful and uh, subscribe to this podcast because we're going to talk more on the topic of business of detailing. It's going to be a lot more helpful. Thank you very much, guys.